In this video, I will show you how to test an ESP32 development board. Often we buy a new board and it doesn't work as expected. We started to wonder is the board defective or is it something we are doing wrong. To clear up any confusion, it is important to test the board first. Uh, I will demonstrate a very simple and minimalistic method to test your ESP32 without needing any extra hardware setup. As you will need is your ESP32 board and a USB cable to connect it to your computer. This quick and straightforward test will give you confidence that your board is ready to use. Let's get started. I will share this code in my video description. You need to download this code and open the code in Arduino IDE. Next, we need to change the SSID and the password. Here, you need to write the SSID which you are using in your home and the password of the Wi-Fi network. After writing the correct SSID and password, we need to upload the code to our ESP32 board. So here I am clicking on upload button and we need to wait a few seconds to upload the code to our ESP32 board. Okay, the code has already uploaded to the ESP32 board. Now we need to open the serial monitor and choose the baud rate as 1,15,200. Now just remove the cable and connect it again. Here we are looking that our device has connected to the Wi-Fi and there is an IP address. We need to copy this IP address. Now go to your browser and paste the link. Remember, you must need to enter this IP address from the same Wi-Fi network which you are using with the ESP32 board. Now enter. Okay, here we are looking that there is an web page created in the ESP32 board and there is two button turn on and turn off. If we click on the turn on button, we are looking that the built-in LED of the ESP32 is now on and if we click the turn off button, the blue LED turned off. If this works on your board, then you must be confirmed that your ESP32 board is working fine. I hope all of you understand how to test your ESP32 board. If you have any question about this video, feel free to comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video.